Boris Johnson has been warned by a pollster that the conservative majority is on tenterhooks following the cost of living crisis and party gate. Police have told Boris Johnson he faces no further action over lockdown breaches, Downing Street said, after the Metropolitan Police concluded its party gate investigation with a total of 126 fines. The Prime Minister has also said he cannot magic away all the soaring food and energy expenses as he comes under increasing pressure to alleviate the cost of living crisis. Former President of YouGov Peter Kellner has since explained how this could impact the Tories. Speaking to Sky News, Mr Kellner said, The local elections showed Labour broadly narrowly and only narrowly ahead of the Conservatives. All history of midterm local history says that governments recover as the following election approaches. History repeats itself and it's one of the reasons why Boris Johnson is feeling a bit chipper at the moment. If history repeats itself, the Conservatives could well come back and win the next election. The question really is, is this midterm different? We've got the cost of living crisis, we've got predictions of the economy stalling in the next couple of years. The hope for the Conservatives is that history repeats itself. The fear is that this time it's different and I wouldn't put too much money either way. It comes as most Britons would be comfortable with an ethnic minority politician becoming the next Prime Minister, according to new research. On Wednesday, the independent think tank British Future published a snapshot of society and its attitudes towards diversity. Just under three quarters of people polled saw diversity as a part of British culture, rather than a threat to it. Up from less than half, 49%, in 2011 and 84% of those polled indicated they would be comfortable with an ethnic minority prime minister succeeding Mr Johnson, compared to only 10% saying it would be a negative development. The poll found 26% of those asked were positive about the prospect and 58% did not think a PM's ethnicity was relevant.